Daily affiliate marketing mistakes. Just so everybody knows that I paused it, you can see the screen in front of you that says it starts with the link. This is very, very enlightening what I'm going to share with you right now. You lose money simply by not giving your affiliate link URL the respect it deserves. And a lot of people, I actually think it's a misnomer to call it a link. Okay, I like to think of all my links out there as assets, just like you would think of assets in a physical business, right? And if you think about this, if you start looking at an affiliate link as an asset, would you treat it a little bit more respectfully than kind of just throwing links out here and there? Would you do things that would protect your assets in the future? Would you do things that would maximize the potential of your assets? Uh, the answer is absolutely yes, you would. So let me give you an example. Do you really respect your affiliate link URL? Do you cloak every affiliate link you use? And by cloak, I mean instead of sending out that long, ugly affiliate string, you, you kind of mask it so it is a prettier looking URL, but it also protects your affiliate link. Do you cloak every single affiliate link you send, every single asset? Do you protect it? Okay. If not, then this call's already been worth your while because in the future you will, you absolutely will protect every single affiliate link you use. Okay. If not, then you should, right? If you don't do it now, you should. If you do do it, then I'm going to show you specific ways of doing it because not all ways of cloaking a link are equal. All right? Remember that. But first, let me just give you an example. This, I see this all the time on Twitter. People are tweeting and trying to make an honest buck on the Internet, right? So, for example, Twitter marketing, graphic and monetization strips. Go here. All right? Everybody, you know, I'm sure everybody recognizes that as a ClickBank link, right? What is P-H-O-U-R-D? P hour D mean? What is that? Somebody go ahead and type that into the questions box. What is that? And for that matter, in the second one, the J S S S S X J 1980, that's an affiliate ID, isn't it? Huh. That's no good. People are doing this all the time, though. Okay? And even if it's not necessarily ClickBank, like the one at the bottom, get, get zooks.biz slash question mark f equals blah, 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 that is no good. I do not want to see anybody, any one of my students, any one of my clients using links like this because you will lose money. I guarantee it. Even worse, though, let's look at this email. This email was sent to me less than 42 hours ago by Adil Chowdhury, who's a very good marketer, and he's had numerous number one ClickBank launches. And this is the email he sent me. He says, you know, blah, 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 got some sales copy for you. Check it out here, http colon slash slash adiloffer.occ2010.hop.clickbank.net. <laughs> uh oh, trouble. So let's do actually a poll. Let's run that poll right now. So I'm going to select this poll, and the poll is simply this Would you change a deal's affiliate link to your own if he sent you an email like that and get 50% off your purchase? Because you know, if you replace his ID with yours, you get credit as an affiliate, he gets no credit, and you save half. You save half. You save half off your purchase, 50% off, okay? Would you or would you not replace that? Would you respect his link and say, all right, Adil, you sent it to me. I'm not going to change it. I'll give you the credit, and I won't get the product for half price. And by the way, there was no bonus tied to that. Yeah, in that email you saw, there was no bonus tied to that. <laughs> okay, so... Hey folks, there's no judgment here. We just want your honest, honest opinion here. We're not judging you or saying what's right or wrong. or Nobody's going to know what you answered. Just answered very honestly and truthfully. Because we're going to show you here some uh, some pretty good information. Yeah, and so total results with you. So I think we've run it enough. We'll go here uh, three more seconds. So we have got another solid minute. Sixty sixty four percent of people have voted. All right, I'm going to close the poll and I'm going to share with you the results. Okay. So remember when I said forty three to seventy eight percent based on when we've done polls like this. How many people on this call would do that? Do you see the number in front of you right now? Somebody type it in because it's that important for you to really understand it. What's the number of people on this call? 54%. That's more than one and two. So he would lose 50% of his commissions. All right? And honestly, the numbers are probably higher. Some people don't like to admit it, even though it's anonymous that they would do something like that. Uh, but they do. <laughs> it happens all the time. All right? And so that's no good, right? Because he would be losing half of his commissions. 
half of them. And I don't blame people for, for doing a discount because it makes sense. It takes you two seconds to save half the money on that product. Yeah. Hmm. So right away, if you mass link, if you don't mass link, you can lose half of your stuff. Half of your commissions for your hard work. That's no good. So you must mask. Okay, they call this masking. Or cloaking. So I'm going to use these two terms interchangeably, masking or cloaking, which means that instead of putting my affiliate ID right in a link, which would take you two seconds to change and take my commission from me and get it at the product at half price, you're going to mask or cloak your link. Okay, in this case, 54% of your commissions could have been lost, but it's as high as 78. Not only, though, not only, though, will you save your commissions if you cloak a link or mask a link, but if the link says something like, checkthisout.com slash PPC. Is that going to get a higher click-through rate? Because it's a prettier link, it's easier to remember, it looks nicer. Is that going to get a higher click-through rate than say something like, you know, myaffiliateid.hoplink.net.com slash clickbank, yada, yada, yada. I mean, it makes sense any way you look at it. <laughs> so you'll get more click-throughs, you'll, you'll protect your hard-earned commissions, and most importantly, it covers your butt from a huge affiliate blunder. Uh, I'm going I'm to ask real quickly if anybody has a guess on what this huge affiliate blunder is. Besides getting robbed in commissions, besides uh, losing click-throughs, what is the real huge affiliate blunder? The real huge affiliate blunder is this. Now, in ClickBank it might not happen, but some of these smaller affiliate programs we use, what happens if the affiliate program you're using, especially private ones, changes their link structure? And so your old links no longer work. Or worse yet, what if they go out of business? And you might say, well, hold the phone, Jason. Big, big stuff that I promote ain't going to go out of business anytime soon. It ain't going to change its policies overnight anytime soon. Um, uh, let me think here for a second. Uh, Amazon? Anybody ever heard of Amazon? I don't know. They were the first person. They were the first company on the Internet to start an affiliate program. Longest running affiliate program on the Internet. Biggest affiliate program on the Internet, right? They did it. Okay. Who here is in a state that can no longer promote Amazon? Anybody? And if so, say your state. Because there's at least three states that I know of. North Carolina from Augie. Colorado from John, uh, <laughs> and there's another one too. Maybe they're not on the call. But think about this: if you ran out there and you had no control over your links because you were just pasting them, you know, here or two and there, and then Amazon or, or a company like that changes it overnight, what do you do? What do you got to do? If you have all these links out there for an affiliate program and they change it overnight, what do you got to do? You got to single-handedly go to every web property and change your affiliate link. Okay? Assets. Assets. That's why. Assets. If you had an asset, you wouldn't treat it so, vi so, so recklessly, would you? But that's what these links are. They're assets. And somebody says, well, why would somebody like that do something? Here's why. North Carolina says, we want to cut because we're greedy. We want some state taxes. So we're going to go, we're going to say Amazon owes us money, and they're going to have to pay us taxes. And Amazon says, uh, you're North Carolina. Screw you. <laughs> we, we just cut you out. Rightfully so. But everybody that's an affiliate in North Carolina got screwed in the deal. Okay? And, and Marilyn asked a very valid question, which I'll get to. So she says, if they change their links, will a cloak link work? Doesn't make sense. Marilyn, you're right. Let me show you the caveat here in a second. But basically, as it stands right now, if you had that link all over the place, you'd have to change your blog posts, your articles, your Facebook pages, your Swidu lenses, all that stuff. Your PDFs, right? If you had them in PDFs, you'd have to change those because they no longer work. Good luck with that. How much would that lose? Okay? Now, if you use a proper service, to cloak your links or to mask your links. Then here's how it works. You would log into that service, whether it's a free or paid service. You would change your mask or your redirect or your cloaking link. You would change it, right, in one location. And that would automatically change the final destination for all the other URLs that are out there. Does that make sense to everybody? Where if, if I promote it to say, like, this is my link.com slash Amazon, 
and it's all over the place, and right now it goes to the wrong place, if I log into one admin panel and change that link to the new link, then it would work on all, all over all over the internet because that one link is controlled in one location and all everything else that's out there on the internet goes through that one link. It's kind of like a toll. You change the toll, I guess, the road path. I hope that makes sense. I maybe didn't do the best job explaining it. But instead of having that link all over the place where you can't change the location of where that link points to from one centralized location, you're screwed. You're going to have to do it manually. And most people, in a lot of cases, just give up. Okay? But if it was an asset, you would not do that. All right? Yeah, so Jason, you know, it doesn't have to be a whole affiliate program changing. Like if you promote a ClickBank product, you know, a vendor can stop selling that product. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, and we're definitely going to talk more situation. about that. Yeah, sometimes, and, it's, and it, we're, it's weird with affiliate programs. Sometimes I'll just say, the person using this affiliate program, the vendor, they violated our terms of service. So overnight we shut down their product. But you might have links pointing to that product. Whoops. <laughs> okay, now let's talk... Let's talk about ways you can cloak a link, mask a link, or set up a redirect, okay? Because all those terms are interchangeable, all right? The most popular one, and especially with Twitter, is it's a service called Bitly, bit.ly. Okay, it's the most popular free link and cloaking service. Uh, question real quickly, 10 second, 10 second, who here uses Bitly or has used Bitly? I'm guilty of it. I've used Bitly in the past. Big mistake, okay? Everybody using Bitly... After this call, I would urge you not to use Bitly anymore, okay? Several reasons, but the main reason is this. This comes directly from Bitly's Terms of Services. I snapshotted this right off their page. Question in the FAQ page. Can I edit change my Bitly link? What if I email you and ask them nicely? Bitly links cannot be edited. You cannot edit it, right? Okay? Can I delete a Bitly link? No, I can't delete a link that I create. Ah, that's scary. Okay, Sandy says something interesting. She says, what about, you, what about Bud URL? They allow you to edit it. That's true. And Tiny URL also allows you to edit it. That's true. But honestly, editing, while that's a major problem, it dwarfs in comparison to an even worse problem with all these free services that are out there. All of these free cloaking services, shortener services, redirect services, masking services, there's a huge, there's a worse problem than not being able to edit your links. What is that problem? Well, let's look at what Wikipedia says. Wikipedia says this, okay, tiny URL is reported to be blocked in Saudi Arabia. Ooh, okay, MySpace, ban tiny URL. Yahoo Answers, blocks postings with tiny URL. Twitter, replace tiny URL with bit.ly which we talked about, but the problem with Bitly is you can't edit the links. Pan, Panera Bread and a lot of other public Wi-Fi networks ban those URL shorteners, the free ones. Craigslist doesn't like them. Wikipedia does not like them. Facebook does not like them. Do you know why these are getting banned left and right, these free cloaking services, these free software, uh, these free masking services, these free short link services? Uh, Mario says spammers, true. And Terry says abuse, doubly true, okay? Here's the deal. A lot of people search the Internet from their office, right, where they work, their pub a public office, a public business. Think about this, a public business, right? They don't want these hidden URLs for you to access it to because it could be malicious malware. It could be pornography. Who knows because the link is hidden, right? And so a lot of these public networks that a lot of people surf are just blocking them. Their security on the network is just blocking them. A lot of it. Do you think it's going to get worse or better? Do you think they're going to tighten the security on these free services or loosen it? It's going to get worse. It's going to get a lot worse because these free services, since they're so widely known and so easily accessible, are going to be abused. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when and how hard including Google. Somebody asked, what about goo.gl, which is another shortening one. It is. There's a lot of inherent problems with these, though. Okay? Besides limited to no editing capabilities, like Bitly, being blocked all over, like all of the, any popular one is going to have blocking issues, you cannot control the type of mass. Okay? You can't specifically say, I want to redirect in this certain way. I want to cloak 
that treats this link and makes it do these magical things that can help me make more money. You can't do that, okay? Bottom line is I scream out. How much do you think people shop at work? <laughs> Too much. Like how, how many people, how, how, much, how much do you guys think, you know, how, what percentage of your quote unquote customers are for promoting stuff are at work when they click their links? Yeah, there's a lot. There's an absolutely a lot. And even what about people on free Wi-Fi in public areas, like, like libraries? Libraries block the heck out of these URL shorteners. Okay, bottom line is you don't want to waste your time. And besides that, it's inauthentic. If I send you a, li a link from bit.ly, do I look like every other person out there that's sending a link from bit.ly? You can't do any branding that way. Bottom line, though, is this. These are your assets. Should you put the fate of your business in someone else's hands where they control it and you have no control over it? Is that a sound business decision? Obviously, that is not. All right? So what's the answer? Okay. Well, actually, before we get into the answer, let me just highlight the point here. This is what is going to happen more and more to these URL shorteners. Trim used to be one of the biggest ones. Uh, they closed. No longer accepting URL shortening services. By the end of 2010, as you see highlighted, all the redirection will be no, will be worthless for Trim. All the links will be invalidated. Anybody see the footer? Anybody see what's on the footer? What does that say on the footer? Go ahead and type that in, somebody. This is on Trim's homepage, by the way. TR.IM. You can go there sometime. It says what? It's hard to, maybe hard to see. Trim is a totally pointless service. All these free URL shorteners are totally pointless if you want to make money online. It's just the fact. Having enlightened you on that makes this webinar for you very, very valuable because how many people do you know are using things like Bitly, Bud URL, Tiny URL, Goo.gl, Tiny.cc, you know? Maybe you were using tr.im. Hmm. Okay? So here's the bottom line. You have to use a cloaking method, a masking method, a redirect method, call it what you will. It can be free. You don't have to necessarily pay for it. But you've got to use some sort of method where you host it and you control it. You host it and you control it. Any service that does not allow you to host your own links, your own redirects, and control them, stay away from it. Quote me on that, okay? Also, you should have the ability to edit your own links, control the type of mask or redirect that you can do on a link-by-link -link basis, okay, and have something that will protect your commissions 100% solid and actually help you make more sales. And we'll talk about the actually help you make more sales in a little bit, okay? Now, but there's two other reasons first. One, ideally you want to set this up in a way where you can manage your links, your affiliate links, in one single location, okay? I want to be able to look at all my links in one single location. I don't want to have to log in to clickbank.com over here. I don't want to have to log in to pay.com.com over here. I don't want to have to log into Commission Junction over here. I don't want to have to log into this guy, this guy, this guy, this girl, and, and this uh, aliens affiliate links over here, right? I don't want to have to do that. I want to do it in one, one location. And I, and I also want to keep the programs that I promote honest, okay? And what do I mean by honest? Uh, I mean, you can check the stats to see if their affiliate program is showing the same as yours, okay? But let me ask you this question. Ever promote an offer? Say you were pr promoting something that you thought was a good offer. You, you, you thought it was going to convert high, and you thought it was a good deal for your customers, right? Or your, your traffic you were getting. But then you discover the next day, oh, my God, here's a better offer about the same topic. Okay, in the, future, in the past, you'd have to go back and change all the links on all the stuff that you stuck them all over the place, right? But, you know, now if it's in a single location, you change that one thing and all the rest are done. So if you find a new, better offer, you can change it in a second. It changes it anywhere you've put that link. Uh, even if an offer goes away or expires, you just change it to a different offer. You never have to touch web properties. You can just go in this one single location and manage all your affiliate links through there, through your redirects. You can adapt fast, effortlessly. Never waste your efforts again. Okay, and keeping vendors honest, let's talk a little bit more about that. I have been in affiliate programs where they said I, I sent a whole bunch of traffic. And then I looked at my little thing I set up to actually monitor on my end with my redirect, my cloak link, and there was a discrepancy between the two. Interesting. This is how you keep them honest because you want to set it up in a single location where you control it and you can also see how many clicks that redirect's getting. Okay? 
So let's talk about some ways that you can do this for free on your own that's going to protect you. Okay? We're going to use redirects to mask our links or to cloak our links. Okay? I'm going to show you free ways, four different free ways, where you can get full control and bypass all the troubles we talked about earlier. Now, let me give you a quick precursor. Don't get freaked out. I'm going to show you a little bit of technical stuff here. You don't have to memorize it on this call. The replay will be available in less than 24 hours, and it will have this code that you can copy and paste that does all this magical stuff for you. Okay? So don't get freaked out. Just remember, this is reference that you will be able to use from here on out tomorrow. You don't even have to know how it works. You just know that it works if you copy and paste it. Okay? Are we all good with that? All right? Because I don't want anybody saying, oh, my God, this is a lot of technical stuff. Because it's not. And it's easy reference for later. All right? Good. Kevin says good. All right? The first way that you can do a redirect, and some of the people in the questions uh, box were saying, hey, uh, I know this fancy way to do a redirect that bypasses all those problems. You're right. The first way to do that is what's called a PHP redirect. Okay? Um, obviously, you can control it on your own server. You just upload, this, you upload a PHP file anywhere on any server you control, and then you can name it that, and that's your redirect, because this is how it works. You put in the code that you see in red, you just put that in a document. You, just, you create a new PHP file, and you just paste in that code there. The only thing you change is location, your affiliate URL here to your actual affiliate URL. Okay? That's all you got to do. That's it. And then you name the, the PHP file whatever you want to name it, and then you send them to that thing, and that will redirect with the affiliate URL to the final destination. Make sense to everybody? Has everybody got that? You just literally will copy and paste this code that you get tomorrow into a file, name it, upload it, and then you just like go here. Okay? So that's a PHP redirect. The downside with that is, you know, it, it takes about a minute or two to set this file up. But hey, you can't have everything, right? And the other thing is you can only do a 301 or a 302 redirect. Uh, a 301 redirect is different than a 302 redirect. Uh, you want to explain that real quick, Will? Yeah, 301 redirects um, are known, also known as SEO redirects. They pass page rank. Uh, so if you're trying to get something to rank, like a web page to rank uh, in the search engines, then the more links you have coming into that page, the better it's going to be to help you rank higher on the search engine results pages. So any, any link that you want to uh, rank, any page you want to rank, if you redirect to it, you want to redirect it with a 301 type redirect. Um, and if, it's an, it just, if you're sending traffic to your affiliate's landing page, not one of your sites, then just definitely use a 302 because yep. you don't want to help them rank. Yeah, 301 is basically you want to help. If, if there are properties where you want to help rank higher, use a 301 redirect. If not, use a 302. So you're going to copy either the 301 redirect code or the 302 and use it. Okay? Uh, Alice has no tracking with it, though. It, not really easy tracking. You can log into your web stand, stats and your cPanel and kind of get a good idea of that. Uh, not perfect, though, but hey, it's still better than Bitly or Bud URL or all those other free services because you control it. And it's not going to be blocked on every ISP that's out there, public service. And, and Gantry says, you mean no follow code? No, it's actually different than a no follow code, Gantry. But like I said, technical stuff, we won't get into it. Number two. Yeah, said, somebody just posted another URL shortening service called AdFly yeah. uh, or ADF.ly. Again, guys, same, same problem. You know, all of these services that you're going to use from somebody else, you're going to have those issues that Jason explained. Great. They might look cool. They might give you all kinds of cool st stats, blah, 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 blah. What happens if they go away? How are these people making money? You know? So, yeah. Do not put your links in somebody else's hands. Do not do that. I don't care how good they are, okay? You have to control the links. They have to be on your website, on your domain, on your hosting, bottom line. Okay, the second way that you can do it on yours and control it is what's called an HT access redirect. In some cases, this is more attractive than a PHP redirect because you can put them all in one single file. So you can edit one file and take care of it. This is done on your server instead of a page. Uh, I got to warn you, though, if you break one line on HT access, you could bring down your whole site. Okay, so tread lightly. Uh, always run it through a test site first before you actually do it on your own. Okay, the other side is. Um, if you're doing a few URLs, this is fine. You can do up, up to even 100 URLs, and it probably isn't a problem. But if you have a lot of URLs, what happens is basically every time they hit your server, when somebody visits it, it's got to run through that whole list, and that takes time. 
and it takes away resources on your server. I don't know if I did the best job of explaining that technically, but basically it makes your pages load slower the more redirects you add to it if you're using HT Access. But I mean, you can put 100 in your HT Access file and be okay. And the codes, as you see down there, you just simply change your affiliate URL here to something else. All right? The third way to do it, which is my personal favorite way that I always used to do it, is a meta refresh redirect. The downside, again, is that it only does a 302 redirect. Okay, you set up either an HTML file or a PHP file, and this is your whole file. You just literally copy and paste the code you see in red below, and you change your affiliate URL here to your actual affiliate URL. Okay, downside again is it takes a 302 redirect only, and it, it takes about, you know, a minute to set up each time you do it. And the tracking isn't perfect, but hey, it's still better than using any free public service for cloaking. All right? The fourth way is with JavaScript. Um, I don't really see a reason to use this other than some people just like JavaScript. I mean, they're JavaScript nerds, I guess. Uh, again, it's only a 302 redirect, and you would paste the, what you see in red below in a PHP or an HTML, but I've got to warn you, not all browsers, in, and especially mobile devices, support JavaScript. For example, I purchased an iPad recently, like the latest one. JavaScript, by default, was turned off. I'd have to log in and turn it on. I just kept it off. So I, these redirects would not work for me on my iPad currently. And a lot of phones are like that too, okay? So, but, I mean, if you're, if you're a Java freak, there you go. <laughs> so those are some of, the, some of the types of redirects that you can do on your own. Okay, they take a little bit more time than the free services. They might not have as flashy features as some of the free services, but the benefits, you control them, not somebody else. You can change them at will, not somebody else. You can set up your own tracking. You can put them all in a single location. You have better looking links than a bit.ly slash 32765419, you know? Yeah. Right. So let me remind you, though. What I just showed you was a reference. Don't get freaked out right now, but I didn't write all that code down, Jason. didn't quite understand it. Well, take care of you in the recording, okay? Number two, you don't have to understand the technical mumbo-jumbo of what's written on there. Just know that it works. But also keep in mind, what is the pros and cons of those redirects? All right? Cool. And, and Mel asked one quick question I will answer. If you use that code, what does your link look like? It would look like if I put, uh, if I named a PHP file, uh, json.php, and I uploaded it to uh, a domain that said, I'm really cool.com, then my affiliate URL would be I'm really cool.com slash json.php. If I put it in a folder and I named it index.php and I named the folder JSON, then it'd be I'm really cool.com slash JSON. Okay? And again, in the in the recording we'll send you all that information. So yeah, it, it's cool that way, right? Because I get domains like this productrocks.com slash PPC. Uh, question, what is the redirect I've been using lately when I've been sending out emails? When I promote affiliate offers. Has anybody noticed it? Maybe it's so sly that you guys didn't even know. Yeah, Martin's got it. Jason, yeah, Ter Teresa's got it. JasonLoves.com. JasonLoves.com slash PPC. JasonLoves.com slash SEO. JasonLoves.com slash Lifestyle, right? Those are cool URLs. Easier to remember, more authentic, and I control those, all right? But let's get a little dark side before we show you the light side of how you can really not only protect your commissions, but dramatically increase your affiliate profits, okay? The dark side. Let's talk a little bit about black hat, a scary, scary concept, all right? What we showed you is helpful for protecting your commissions because 54% of these people on this call make no qualms about punishing people for being lazy <laughs> and, and, and taking the commissions out of their, out of their hard-earned work, right? So we showed you how to protect that, okay? What I'm going to show you next is even more powerful and more profitable, but to understand that, we've got to put it in the context of Black Hat. Real quickly, what is Black Hat? My personal definition that I wrote is this, using unethical tactics and methods to increase your chances of making money online. Okay? Usually these employ a term called cookie stuffing, which I'll define in a second, and often these methods violate terms of services. Okay? We never advocate any of that. Okay? What is cookie stuffing? Because that's a, that's a definite black hat tactic. This is where you hide affiliate links, hundreds, even thousands of affiliate links on a web page. 
These affiliate links create a cookie in the person's browser history. That cookie will say stuff for affiliates that'll say, this guy referred you, so he will get credit if you buy something. So they, they, they cookie stuff your browser with thousands of links. And then if you go later on your own volition, by your own choice to any one of those sites and buy something, they can make money as an affiliate. They just cookie stuff. That's horrible, okay? And usually the problem with cookie stuff is you, the unsuspecting victim, have no idea that your browser's being jammed up and that these people are stuffing cookies all over your computers, <laughs> okay? So the black hat tactic that people do, the first one is iframe cookie stuffing, and it's like this. What they do is they embed a one-by-one one pixel into an iframe. And an iframe is basically like a website, uh, a web page inside of a web page. Okay? But they make this web page inside of a web page one pixel by one pixel so the eye can't see it. And they cram hundreds of those one-by-one one pixel iframes. And they stuff cookies from all kinds of different things. There's the code that they use at the bottom in red. Okay? Iframe source equals affiliate URL here, width equals one, height equals one, and they, they just put that anywhere on the web page and they put several of those on there and they drop cookies. So they can drop cookies in the past before Amazon fixed it. People were dropping cookies on Amazon, all kinds of products on Amazon, and people were going and buying on their own and you were getting credit and that was gaming the system. And nobody wins when that happens. Okay? Hey Jason, can I stop you there for a second? Yeah. I'm getting a bunch of questions um, still on the t on the uh, question box about, hey, how about this service and how about BZ9? How about Adfly? <laughs> how about this? Guys, <laughs> once and for all, I do not care what service you use. If you do not own the domain where those links get created, do not use it. Period. Yes. I don't care if it's got cool stats. If it gives you, you know, if they pay you for it, whatever, because you're basically l risking losing your entire business, all of those assets. Each one of your, your links is an asset. Mm -hmm. You're basically handing that to somebody else and say, please stay in business. Please don't delete these. Please don't, you know, I mean, you're basically just asking for that because, you know, you don't control the domain. Yeah. All your redirects should be on your domain that you own. That is the only way for you to guarantee that those links are going to survive somebody going out of business, uh, somebody changing their terms of service, an affiliate program changing on yeah. your own domain. So no more yeah. questions about is this service good or that <laughs> service good or should I try this? Have you seen that? Yeah, and the worst, the, the worst part about it all is those services get blocked constantly uh, on people that are surfing the Internet. So they can't even see those pages a lot of times. But, yeah, bottom line is this. Would you send me $1,000 and just let me hold on to it for you, and then you can get it whenever you want it later in life? Would you do that to a complete stranger? No. You wouldn't say, here's my life savings, just hold on to it for me. I trust you even though I've never met you. Know, I'll be back in 10 years to pick it up. <laughs> you would not do that. So therefore, why are you giving your assets, your affiliate links to other people to hold on to that you don't even know and leaving your fate in their hands? Okay, so don't use them. iframe cookie stuff and we talked about. This is one way the black hatters prosper. Another way is fake image stuffing. What they do is paste a one-by-one one image pixel, even though it's not an image. But they use the code below, which is an image code. But they just put their URL again and make it a width one and a height one, and they stuff hundreds of cookies, thousands of them on these web pages. And it's unfortunate because it really robs the people that are the vendors that own the affiliate program because these people aren't actually doing something to sell it. They're stealing is what they're doing. Unfortunately, Black Hat sucks. All right, I'm going to say this. Uh, it, I'm going to tell you in a second why we will not condone Black Hat and why, you, but how you can use that to use White Hat. But real quickly, stuffing cookies doesn't always work. This is important for you to know for the White Hat tactic we're about to show you. It depends on your affiliate sites and programs. Uh, ClickBank allows it. Now, they've set it up to allow it. You can draw your own conclusions on that. Uh, other ones don't allow it. So the bottom line is you have to check to see if the program sends a P3P header. If you're crazy enough to want to know more about that, Go to jasonloves.com slash p3p. By the way, what is that? What is that? Is that a uh, cloaked link that I just set up there? <laughs> is that a prettier link that's a better link that I control? Yeah, it is. jasonloves.com slash p3p. And you can get a little bit more about that. Basically, though, we always test affiliate links to make sure that they pass the cookie. If they don't, then we don't take them. Okay? I mean, we don't use these techniques. Okay? We don't use the black hat techniques, but the white hat technique I'll show you. Okay? Now that the content... Context has been set, okay? We don't condone black hat at all, okay? We do not encourage it, and if you use it and get banned, you deserve to be banned, okay? 
But now that content has been set on how you understand these dropping of cookies or these cookie, this way we pass cookies, we can use the same techniques that the black hat people use, but we can use them in a white hat way, a white hat way. There are ways of dropping cookies that are completely above board that will not only protect your commissions but can make you a lot more money. Okay. Now, the example I'm going to give you is this. We have a visitor click on my link. That's important. We're not stuffing a cookie by cramming it in there and hiding it. We only do the cookie when they actively click on a link, which makes it white hat. Okay. And it's for something we're actively promoting. All right. That's how we use this. But we send them, we have them click on a link that drops a cookie for the affiliate program, but we send them to a non-affiliate URL. I will show you what that is and why that's important. Okay, here's why. I want to promote a product, okay? Uh, it's actually um, not a software product. I should have changed that. It's a, it's a recipe by my friend uh, Ron Douglas. This is where I go to ClickBank, and this is the URL they give me. Obviously, we want to click that because it's ugly as sin. But if I click on this affiliate link right here, this is where it takes me to. Okay? Let's look at this affiliate URL up here. What's wrong with this affiliate URL at the top? What's wrong with it? I, I want an answer. This is a rhetorical question. What's wrong with that URL at the top? Mario it, answered you. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. It shows my affiliate ID. So instantly when somebody sees that, they say, well, shoot, maybe I might want to go and change it to, to mine and dig around and get my URL, right? Maybe 54% of the people landing there? Maybe. I mean, probably not that much because it involves a little bit more work than just changing the ID out. But even if it's, even if it's 5%, I'm going to be mad, right? Now, what's funny is if we do a redirect on this, is it what's going to happen if we do a redirect first? Is the final destination going to be different, or is it going to be the same? Let's use a stupid free service like Bitly, you know? <laughs> we're like, oh, we're going to redirect this with Bitly, which I never recommend. But we could take that same affiliate ID here, and we can paste this in here. We can shorten it, and now we can use this Bitly link, right? What will happen when we use the Bitly link? So we've cloaked the link. Ah, damn it. It still says my affiliate ID on the end. So we're going to drop a cookie. Oops. So that doesn't happen. Okay? Because no matter what we do, our final destination URL as it stands right now will be question mark hop equals flatland. Even if you did a redirect with the four free examples I showed you earlier, it will still show the affiliate ID. Okay? You have to drop a cookie use a so-called black hat technique, but in a white hat way, in order to change this problem. Okay? So let me show you how that's done. So instead, when we drop a cookie, we're, we're going to use what Will has called a stealth redirect. All right? This is how it works. Watch this. If you go to thisproductrocks.com slash recipe, let's see what happens. Do you notice up here the difference? RecipeSecrets.net slash home. It's gone, right? Okay, does this still credit me as an affiliate, though? Does it? You bet it does. You know how it does? Let me show you. This is the code we use down in red. What we do is this. We actually, we say, after one second, Send them to this regular URL, which is the regular URLs if nobody was promoting it. But before you send them to that regular URL, drop a cookie in real quick, right here with an affiliate ID. Nice, huh? You know the how many friends here, right, Jason, is that when, an, when a black hat is cookie stuffing, they put the, that image source code on a page and all the person is doing is it's reading visiting. that blog post yep. or an article, and like hundreds of these cookies are happening. We're using a similar technique here, but in a white hat way, because they're only going to hit this redirect code right here when they actually click on the link. Yep. 
Yep, they're going to hit it, and then, so it's an active thing, just like they would normally. The only thing that the only reason we're doing this is for no other reason, so we don't have this question mark hop equals flat link. Because I guarantee you that loses me money if that shows up. The only way you can do that is with a stealth redirect, as we showed you, using a black hat technique in a white hat way. Okay, <laughs> nice, huh? That's worth it. You're welcome. Glad you're on this call, right? Okay, so that's a stealth redirect. Bottom line is this, though. After this call, you will never use a naked affiliate link again. Agreed? After this call, you will never send out a link without close, cloaking it, masking it, or redirecting it first. Agreed? Right. Second one, you will only use self-hosted redirects. If you, don't, if you don't control it, you ain't going to use it. Agreed? <laughs> okay. Now, I've shown you four separate ways, five technically counting the stealth redirect on how to do this manually for free. And maybe that's good for you. However, I'm a big, I'm a big believer in time is more important to me than money. So if you'd like to do this much quicker, much more efficiently, and also, it, also have much greater tricks to use with your affiliate links than just the stealth redirect, then you're going to be interested in what we have to offer naturally. Okay? And what is it? It's called the Easy Redirect Script. It takes less than 36 seconds to install, less than two seconds to create a simple redirect, and less than five seconds to create those stealth redirects, stealth pages, promo redirects, and more. You can use it in a limited amount of times on a limited amount of domains. You control it, not us. You control it because it's on your domain. We just give you the thing to upload. And instead of just talking about it, let me show you actually how it works. Okay, this is going to be really cool. Let's close these windows. I set up a new domain right before this call, a new thing at jfladlikes.com. Okay, there's absolutely nothing at this page right now. <coughs> I'm going to install the easy redirect system. Okay, so you can use any FTP program to do this. I like FileZilla. Anyone that can upload files, connect to where you want to install it at. In this case, I'm installing it at jfladlikes.com. So I go to the public HTML, and then on my ERS admin that I've downloaded and unzipped, I simply just take this folder and I upload it to my server, to my domain, right? jfladlikes.com. So it's going to take me, it takes about 15 seconds to upload all the files. Okay, so just give me about 10 more seconds. What we're going to do after this uh, uploads is go to ERS admin, where we installed this. So I installed this on jfladlikes.com. So the URL I'm going to go to is jfladlikes.com slash ERS admin. Okay, so it's uploaded. So all I've got to do is go to what? Slash ERS admin. <laughs> all right, and so the first thing you're going to have to do is an initial setup require. All right, so I'm going to actually put in the, my username and password that I'm going to use for this. And then the final I'm going to put in my reg key, which you'll get when you invest in this script today. Put that in down here. Now I'm going to create account. Now that I did it, I can log in. And for now on in the future, anytime I want to log in here to do anything, like set up a redirect or check my stats or change stuff, I just go to mydomain.com slash ersadmin. Okay, so I'm going to put in my username and password. And now I can create a redirect. So let's do a quick redirect. Somebody give me their URL. So to their blog. Somebody put your blog URL in right now. I'll create a redirect to it. Make it a, make sure it's not okay. MarioSotoJr.com. Okay? So we're gonna name this redirect name Mario. And the URL is MarioSotoJr.com. And we're gonna click create redirect. Okay, so we did this. So what's the URL? Jfladlikes.com slash Mario. If I click here, where do I go to? I go to Mario's blog. Cool. So anytime I need to send somebody to Mario's blog, I just say, hey, go to jfladlikes.com slash Mario. Uh, anybody know what this little thing is down here, this funky little what bar the heck code? Is that image right <laughs> this is called a QR code. If you know what QR codes are, then you're absolutely going to love this function because there's a lot of money to be made with these. If you don't know what QR codes are, 
do a little bit of research, and then you're absolutely going to love the fact that we create a QR code with every redirect that you set wow, up. Wow, a lot of people know what QR codes are, man. That This is getting more and more popular. It's so, the future. Um, it's the future. Yeah, it is absolutely the future, and we've built it in. Yep. yep. So that's it. I, I like to use quick redirects for just simple stuff to shorten URLs, not necessarily for affiliates. If I want to create a simple redirect, though, for an affiliate, and I don't care if it's a 301 or 302 or whatever, I just go to simple mode. I just click here, okay, and redirection name Let's go and get somebody else's blog or URL that they sent earlier, uh, if we can. Uh, type Somebody type another one in again, because I, I don't see it. Uh, coachingnewbies.com. Great, by the way. So we're going to call this re redirect newbie, okay? And that's a good URL. Coachingnewbies.com. Create a redirect. Boom, there it is again. jflatlikes.com slash newbies. And there you go. It worked. And what's really cool here is under simple mode, it says list redirects. So we've set up two redirects so far, right? We can get a QR code anytime we want. We can see how many clicks this has gotten anytime we want right here. See that? Two, one. See the link type? We can create a category for it and put them in different categories. And if, say, for example, Mario's blog goes down because he doesn't pay his bill, I just simply change this destination URL to a different URL, right? Anytime I want to, right? I can say, you know what? Screw Mario. I'm going to take him to my blog, and I'm going to reset the hit count so I can reset my stats. <laughs> and now jfladlikes.com slash Mario, it goes to my blog. <laughs> yeah. And so that's, that's uh, simple mode here, just that. Advanced mode is even cooler still. You have standard redirects, which are the regular ones. You have SEO redirects. You have stealth pages. Watch me create a stealth page. Okay? We're going to call this one search engine. Okay? The page title, I'll show you in a second. We'll just call this Jason Owns Google. Uh, did you guys know that? I just took over Google. <laughs> the destination URL we're going to put in there is Google. And description will be this is for all those who said I couldn't be a billionaire. <laughs> That's just your own notes on what you know what the link is. Create stealth page. Okay, so this is my stealth page, jfladlikes.com slash search engine. If I click here, now look what happens. With a stealth page, look at the URL at the top of Google. What is that URL? It's jfladlikes.com slash search engine, isn't it? So in this case, unlike a stealth redirect, we actually control the final destination URL. We can make it whatever we want. And look at the title of the page. Jason owns Google. Okay? You see how long that took me? Like three seconds, right? Pretty cool, huh? So Jason, um, here's a, here's a, uh, somebody brought up a question about the QR codes, which I think is worth mentioning. Okay. Um, they said, hey, isn't the QR code masked or cloaked by default? Well, kind of, because they can't tell what QR code where it's going. But when they snap the picture with their phone and go there, they're going to be taken to your redirect and, therefore, to the final destination afterwards. But the cool thing about it is that you get to change the destination if you want to. Yeah. And the QR code doesn't change. It stays the same. Yeah, and so the bottom line is, is if you're creating QR codes anyway, now you can create them in one place instead of having to go to two separate places, right? Yeah, exactly. And and again, you can change it. So let's say you're promoting, you know, Mario's blog like Jason did. You create this QR code, you post it everywhere. You know, Mario does something, you don't, don't want to work with him anymore. <laughs> you want to go change the destination Poor of that Mario. QR code to Jason's blog. The QR codes that are already out there are still going to, going to work, and they're going to go to Jason's blog now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's yes. the power of this. Yes. This is why you need to control redirects on your domain. Yep. So now that I own Google, <laughs> let's talk about stealth redirects. We showed you the manual way. Let's show you a cool way. And let's actually use an affiliate link this time. So I'm going to go to clickbank.com slash marketplace and just grab a URL real quick. Uh, let's just say I want to do something with, like, uh, I think it's uh, dating ideas. Let's just do dating ideas. Okay, so we're going to search for a product on because I need some dating ideas, so I'm going to promote one. Your romantic hand, idea handbook. Okay. I'm like, I like the idea of a romantic handbook with 4,400 ideas. What I don't like is this crummy sales page. Ugh, this is the ugliest page I've ever seen in my life. But I want to promote the product anyway. Okay, so here's what I do. 
First thing I do is get my affiliate ID in ClickBank. So I'm going to put in my nickname, Fladlin. There's my ugly affiliate URL. All right. Now what I'm going to do is this, redirect name. We'll call this one, I think it's romantic ideas. Or, yeah, romantic ideas. Paste in my affiliate URL here. Boom. See that? Final destination URL. Since we're going to build our own sales page, I don't want this to be the final destination URL this page. What I'm going to do is find a checkout button, right click on it, copy the link location. Here's the link location I copied. It's the order form. We're going to send them, we're going to skip their sales page and send them directly to the order form. Okay? So I'm going to put that in there. Oops. Right there. And then description, I'm just going to name this to order form romantic ideas because this is just for my own note. Create stealth redirect. Okay, so jflatlikes.com slash romantic ideas. All right, so what I have done is bought a new domain called romantic ideas for you dot info. And what I did is I took basically the same copy. I'll share over 400 romantic ideas and tips with you, blah, 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 which is over here. I'll, sh uh, I'll share whatever. I cleaned the copy up, but I made it look from this piece of crap to this nice thing. So I kind of rewrote the copy, changed it around a little bit. And the most important thing is if you look at the Add to Cart button, what's the final destination URL? I put my final destination URL, jfladlikes.com slash romantic ideas, right? My redirect. So since this takes them to the checkout, they don't understand that, hey, I'm an affiliate, but I just created my own sales process, my own sales copy, and instead of having to final send them to this stupid page, I can just send them here, add to cart. And then what they do is they go to the checkout page and affiliate equals Fladlin. Isn't that awesome? So think about this. What more could I do? Could I put an exit pop-up on this page right here? Could I build a list? Could I basically control the whole sales process as an affiliate and make a lot more money than I would if I sent them to this stupid page? Or how about the flip side? Let's say you really wanted to promote something, but it has 17 exit pop-ups, right? So you're like, damn it, I want to promote this, but I don't feel comfortable subjecting people to pop-up torture. So I'm just going to create a stealth redirect, and I'm going to take out the exit pop-ups, right? Nice, huh? So that's a stealth redirect. Promo redirect. This is cool. Um, let me actually, because I got the code over here on a promo redirect. Let me open this up. Okay. Here's a promo redirect. You're going to love this. Promo redirects like this. So let's just say, um, here's, a, here's a good example. Uh, Lee McIntyre promoted his instant internet lifestyle, and it was, it's awesome, and I did so well, Lee said, I'm going to throw in an extra bonus for you if you promote it again. So normally I'd have to explain that in my email and maybe create a landing page for it before I send it to the final thing. A lot of work, right? Not anymore. I can just say, special bonus for my redirect name, affiliate URL, let me get that. Affiliate URL for this program is this ugly beast right here. Aim.infusionsoft.com slash go blah 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 Fladlin. Seconds to display ad. Let's just say 15 seconds. And now I'm going to put my HTML code here, which is just a banner. Okay, so I paste that in there. Lee special bonus. So now when I promote this in the future, create promo redirect. Here's what happens. If I go to jfladlikes.com slash special bonus. You will be directed in 15 seconds or click here to skip the ad. Jason Flatlin special bonus. If you buy instant internet lifestyle in the next 48 hours, you get a super list building system free. And then what happens? It forwards them to the sales page. So can you think of all the different ways you could use a promo redirect? Uh, isn't that really wow, cool? Wow, Jason, so <clears throat> what happened there is now you can literally... Um, put an ad in front of somebody when you're redirecting them to something that you might not even be promoting. Like if you're sending somebody to a YouTube video or something like that, or you know, a free blog post. It's not even a promotion, but now you get to possibly get you know eyeballs on your affiliate offer. As well. <laughs> yeah, any link you share should be a promo redirect if it's not a direct affiliate link, right? If you're just saying you check out my Twitter account, right? Then you should maybe, uh, here's, here's a good one, check out my Facebook account. And then do a promo redirect that says, make sure to hit like when you go to my Facebook account. That shows up for five seconds before they take them there. Lots of applications with the promo redirect. Okay? Yeah. 
And then and now you don't have, you know, with this script, you don't have to use like like an ad fly or something like that. You can create your own promo redirects. Yes, it's so cool. So you got standard redirects, SEO redirects, stealth pages, re stealth redirects, promo redirects, list redirects, so you can see them all in a snapshot with links, QR codes. You got categories if you want to add a new category and then uh, categorize your redirects. It's really cool. Great support, by the way. We got lots of videos here. I mean, we got a, uh, first of all, there's the ticket that you can go to for support. Also, in the members area, uh, there's videos on every single thing, and there's even tool tips. I built tool tips in here where if you, if you don't know what something is, just hover over it, and it'll tell you more information about it. All right? So this is the easy redirect script. I think it's great. All right? And I want you to sign up for it. I'm going to show you where to sign up for it at. EasyRedirectScript.com slash purchase. Okay? 100% money back guarantee. If you don't like it, we'll give you your money back. Free updates for a year. One of the things we haven't got quite done yet, but should be done in the next few weeks, is a bookmarklet. Okay? A bookmarklet basically works where you have a little toolbar that says bookmarklet text. If I wanted to go to any page and click this little toolbar here, what happens is a thing pops up and it says, make the redirect right here. So literally on any page you'd like to redirect, you could click this thing and it would go there. Right now it's not finished, but that's, that's the thing. That's going to be updated soon. Sign up now and get it for free. This works with any affiliate program or any link for that matter. It comes with full video training and documentation. It's only $77 currently. We have some more things we're going to be adding to it. Price may or may not go up, to be honest with you. I don't know. But it probably will. Okay, And why risk it? Because you need to start protecting your links now. You need to quit using those free services now. You need to take advantage of all those new capabilities I just showed you now. And those can be done in seconds. EasyRedirectStrip.com slash purchase. When you go to this URL, you have the option to check out either with credit card by clicking on the blue link, the blue button, I'm sorry, or check out with PayPal, clicking on the gray button. Your transaction is 100% secure, completely encrypted, and you're safe with us. As soon as you're done, there's no upsells, okay? There's no side sells, there's no down sells, no exit pop-ups. Just click on the button, go through, and within less than three minutes, maybe even quicker if you got RoboForm, you could be downloading this and installing it and using it. Okay? By the way, this is a one-time price of $77. There's no continuity involved in this. We're not going to uh, charge you any more for usage. You can use it on as many domains as you want. If you want to have multiple domains, you can use it as many times as you want. If you want to create 5,000 redirects, you could. And it's only a one-time fee of $77. And, uh, you know, before, I used to be like, eh, I'll do it manually. Then when I actually started using this script, I'm like, why did I ever do it manually? Uh, I'm, that was dumb. And then I was like, oh, I'll use Bitly. And now I'm thinking, why did I ever use that stuff? Because I did some research when we had the script developed. And I said, oh, my God. This is like the greatest thing in the world for an affiliate. So easyredirectscript.com slash purchase. No, it's not a $2,000 launch. It's just a $77 one-time thing. No, there's no upsells or downsells. Just good stuff. Straightforward, given to you. Try it out. If you don't like it, contact support. We'll give you your money back. If you like it, I hope you promote it. And you can promote it using a redirect, right? So you have your domain think about promoting this and how easy that would be. Because you can say, this is the service I'm using. Isn't that cool? Now you can buy it too. So you can make more money as an affiliate if you use it. But bottom line, this tool is great. I've been using it constantly since, I, since we started developing it. Thank you so much for watching this webinar. The recording will be sent out within 24 hours. Hey, Will, is there uh, questions coming up that I can help answer? Um, I don't think so. A lot of people are asking what happens after the first year. The, the, you're going to continue using whatever version you're using. Mm. Um, to be very honest, we're not sure what we're going to do as far as upgrade fees. If you want to upgrade later after the first year, it's something that uh, we have a little bit of time to discuss still. Um, I, I can tell you this. It won't be any more than what you paid now. And again, you don't have to upgrade at that time after, if your year has passed. Yeah, uh, you can continue to use the same version. It's just if we add another feature, you know, a year and a half from now and you want it, then there will be some upgrade fee, but it won't be, you know, it will not be more than the price you pay today. I can yeah. tell you that much. That's a good point. I don't know how much it will be, though. It could be less. Yeah, and we do plan on upgrading it, too, absolutely. Um, so even in the next year, if you purchase today, we have the bookmarklet coming out, which will make 
if you want to if you're on any site and want to click like three buttons and immediately cloak that link because you're just on that site, you don't have to log in to where you've installed ERS. You just click that one button and then fill out two things and you're done. Uh, the bookmarklet should be done here pretty soon. Uh, we're also going to be adding in bonuses. We didn't have enough time. I just wanted to get this in your hands as quickly as possible, but you'll get the bonuses. I got some squeeze pages I'm going to use. Why would you need squeeze pages with an easy redirect script? Well, I'll tell you why. Because if you're using stealth redirects and stealth pages before you send it to the final URL, you build your own list as an affiliate. You could turn anything into a list building venture. So we'll give you the squeeze pages to make that possible. Um, I'm also going to be shooting some special videos for easy redirect members that could show you other ways to use Easy Redirect Script to make money. Like we showed you one example of a promo redirects. There's five basic ways that I know that you can make money that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, we showed you one example of uh, me redesigning a sales page, but there's a lot of other ways you can use Stealth Redirects to make money. QR codes. We didn't even talk about how profitable those could be, and they are pretty profitable. And so we're going to be shooting. I'm going to be shooting videos on that. Include that as a bonus as well. So you will get those bonuses free of charge once they're done. But bottom line is you don't even need the bonuses. You just need your hands on the script as soon as possible because it's that good. Sweet. Yeah, some questions about the affiliate program. Um, right on the um, inside the members area, there's a link to all the affiliate tools. Uh, when you purchase, you're automatically, um, uh, you're automatically registered as an affiliate. And when you go on the member portal to download it, all of the... Um, uh, affiliate tools already have your hard-coded uh, affiliate link. If uh, for some reason I don't know why you wouldn't, but if for some reason you don't want to purchase, you still want to promote it. Just go to, go to easyredirectscript.com and you will see the affiliate uh, sign-up page there as well. Um, don't try and sign up as an affiliate and buy through your own link because we won't allow that. Um, we yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> um, so uh, as far as um, there's a question here. Uh, forgot who it was from and it left the screen here, but something about uh, one of our, our friends, Brittany Lynch, uh, using or recommending Google.gl uh, Google redirect. I actually had a conversation with Brittany and uh, she won't be using those uh, anymore. So. <laughs> See, the funny thing is, that's so, that's so, I'm so glad you brought that up because Brittany said it on the web, webinar the other night and I didn't want to pipe in, you know. Um, I'm glad you brought that up with her, but the thing is a lot of people don't know. They just don't know that these free services are no good. A lot of people, a lot of successful people don't know this. You saw the email I showed you earlier when we ran that poll. They just don't know. So you know now. And so use that to your advantage. Don't use free services. And it, we're on a crusade to change that. <laughs> That's why we're offering this, right? But, yeah, I mean, if, if Brittany sat down and watched this webinar before Will talked to her, she would say, I'm not recommending Google.gl anymore. See, people offered it because it was convenient, right? It's as simple. You log in there, set it up, it's done, right? But this is even more convenient, and it has a lot more features, and it's easier to use. But that's a good point. I'm glad somebody was astute enough to bring that up. Shows you're paying attention, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I, we've sent her a copy of this script, so she'll start using it soon. Excellent. So I realize that Brittany, she'll tell you herself, she's not technical at all. And so that was just the way she was doing things. So I explained to her that she shouldn't be doing that, and she said she was uh, gonna gonna trade it. Yeah, it honestly, this is think about this as an affiliate standpoint. If you see somebody using one of those URLs, email them and be like, maybe you should be using it redirects, and then send them to this webinar recording with your affiliate link, because we'll give you an affiliate link to promote this webinar recording. <laughs> you make sales that way, right? Hey, I noticed you were using a Bitly URL. I wouldn't do that. In fact, you should check out this webinar, and you'll see why you shouldn't do that. And, you know, slide in a masked redirect with, that you're using with Easy Redirect Script, right? Say, go to mysite.com slash no free URL webinar or something, you know? <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Any other questions, folks? Uh, every, everybody's uh, saying we're genius, man. I, I appreciate that. I'll never turn that comment down. A um, couple questions I saw. One says, should this be installed on my same domain or another domain dedicated to redirects? Greg, it's up to you. I literally, I've, I've installed mine in three separate locations. I have jasonloves.com, this, product, uh, this product rocks com, and then I have one like thisistotallyfree.com, right? And I use that one for some free stuff. 
So I, I use mine on different purposes for different things. But you could you could install it on on your regular site and just have it like you can even install it in a subdirectory, correct, Will? Yeah, you can install it in a subdirectory. We give uh, instructions in the README file on how to do that. Yeah, I personally um, wouldn't recommend it, but people do that. You 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 can see something like you you see it all all the time, like you know marketersname.com slash recommend slash and then the name. Uh, so you could do that if you wanted to. Um, basically, that's up to you, and that's so cool. Think about what we're saying. That's up to you. You control it, right? We don't control it. You control it. Bitly doesn't control it. You control it. You know, Will, me and Will were having this interesting conversation, uh, talking about stealth redirects and stuff like that. Did you know if you're promoting on Google AdWords, what's the rule on Google AdWords? If, if six affiliates want to promote the same site, the same URL, how many of them can? How many of them will show up on Google? One, right? Mm -hmm. Now you can promote. The same offer as somebody else, but use some of this other technology with the easy redirect script. Got it? And now you can show up. So while the other affiliates are all competing for that one space on Google, you're not competing with any of them. Because you can set this up on your own domain and then point it directly to the order form, right? Or you can set up something else and do that. A number of options are available. The other interesting thing that me and Will were having a conversation about how to use this last night as far as the money making thing, say you were in North Carolina when all that Amazon fiasco stuff went down and you lost all your Amazon links. What a very simple thing you could have done is sold your web properties to somebody in another state that's an Amazon affiliate. And then all you have to do is log into Easy Vita Rec Script and change your affiliate Amazon ID with theirs. Right? And then you could have sold it to them, flipped it over real quick. This is yeah. Oh man, that would have been worth. I mean, sites and and things like that. Businesses eat on the internet usually sell for ten to twelve times the value, right? Of their the, uh, ten to twelve times their monthly va uh, income, right? So if you if like an affiliate in in North Carolina was making you know ten thousand dollars a month on Amazon, instead of being dead in the water and losing a ten thousand dollar a month income overnight, they could have had a business to sell for a hundred grand. Yeah, and just and it took them about you know a few uh, maybe an hour or two to hire a, a monkey to change the URLs inside Easy Redirect. Here's a, another great example that I was thinking of with Easy Redirect is if you give away free PDFs or even paid PDFs and you put links to products inside a PDF, right? I mean, I do that all the time. What if those links point to web properties that go down or are things you no longer want to promote or you don't want to show up anymore? You can't change the link in a PDF and have it show up on everybody who's already downloaded that PDF. They'll get the old link, correct? Not anymore. Just put mass for all your links. And then if you're like, oh, crap, instead of having to go back, change the PDF, re-upload it, email everybody who's downloaded that PDF and tell them to download the new one because you fixed that link, yeah, you don't have to do that anymore, right? Here's another application. Anybody ever seen this? Somebody sends out an email, and then 10 minutes later they say, sorry, I sent you the wrong link in that email. I get at least one of those a week. Actually, I get a lot more of them. And I've done that in the past myself. Okay? We don't do that anymore as much as possible because we try to set up a redirect for most cases. That way, if we send out the wrong link, and as soon as the first email subscriber emails us, we say, thank you, we go into Easy Redirect and just edit the link and change it to the proper link. So we don't have to send out the unprofessional, I'm sorry, I sent you the wrong URL link, right? A few people initially will get it. We'll fix it before everybody else gets it. <coughs> okay, this so was Jason, fun. show the click, uh, show the, um, the click stats. Oh, okay. Well, I'll actually show you, um, I'll show you a different account that I have, have jasonloves.com ERS admin. So you can see a fully functional account, what that looks like. Oops, sorry, hit RoboForm. If we go to uh, either simple or advanced mode, it doesn't matter. If we click on list redirects, um, you can see all the stats here. Like a challenge, for example. This was um, something I promoted, I think, for Kieran. We generated 3,544 clicks with that. Awesome. And so this is the link I use. This is obviously my affiliate link to his program. I set that up, and it was a 302 redirect. Uh, this was something we did for Lee. What's funny is we promoted Lee with two different links, 
The first day we sent out what was called lifestyle. The second day we called it a great deal. So we had our link match the email tone. So this one got 1,064 clicks. Uh, we did one for, I think this was for John Thornhill, and this got this many clicks. Some of these have zero clicks because we didn't set them up, but we can see all of our clicks in one shot. When we promoted free empowerment, we got this many clicks. HostGator got this many clicks. See, Lifestyle, even though it was the same one, got this many clicks. And we can and see so all, now you can all go our clicks. those affiliate tracking uh, stats programs and verify the verify the clicks. Look, you are yes, that's so great. What I like about this too is think about this. Let's look at our stats, right? What do you think I should be promoting more of? An offer like this that got thirty five hundred clicks, or an offer that got eight hundred clicks? Good intel, right? I can see this at a snapshot. I promoted HostGator for their Black Friday deal. Not a hot topic. A lot of people didn't like it, right? Okay, lesson learned. Less HostGator, more challenge stuff, right? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? PLR. I'm like, I need to promote more PLR because we got a lot of clicks. This was with one single email we sent out. A lot of clicks. I should promote more PLR stuff. What's so cool, though, is if I was logging into every separate affiliate program, I wouldn't notice some of these stats, but now that I can see them one after another after another, all the way up and down from top to bottom, sweet. Uh, I'm literally uh, got so much phlegm in my throat from my cold that it's hard. It's getting hard for me to talk. Um, oh, good so question. They're tracking the raw clicks. Um, tracking. Yeah. Uh, questions on advanced tracking, base <coughs> tracking, so on. Um, read the name of the product. Easy. Redirects. <laughs> it was meant to be super simple to use, and any time you start adding things like, oh, add a database so that I can do split testing and IP-based tracking and blah blah blah, it starts getting complicated and away from easy. Yes. So if you need that kind of stuff, this is not the right program for you. Yeah, and honestly, nobody needs that stuff. Very quickly track um, link uh, clicks, raw clicks. Um, and that's what most people need. And see, a lot of people think they need all these tracking stats and all this fancy stuff, and they buy solutions or go sign up for solutions that have it, and they never use it. Or they spend way too much time looking at stats and not marketing. <laughs> um, so really, guys, clicks, um, that's what most people need. If you do have a legitimate need for something else, then you're going to need to look at another solution. But bottom line is, you know, Jason and myself, for example, we go off of clicks. Yeah, and most of the marketers that uh, we know go off of clicks, and everybody that we've talked to, uh, as far as advanced stats and all that stuff, they don't use it. Yeah, not for this kind of stuff. I mean, if you're running a hardcore media buying, ad dropping thing, more power to you. But if you're doing that, you probably wouldn't be on this webinar anyway. <laughs> this is for us in the trenches, people. You know, I run a million dollar plus a year business, and all I care about at a glance from my redirect is, is clicks. And that's the language we talk in with uh, joint venture partners and things like that. Clicks and conversions. Uh, and conversions are very simple to look at if you log into the affiliate program itself. But at a glance, I just love to have the clicks. Uh, you know, this is a $77 program. This isn't a $997 program. But, God, I've used some of the more advanced stuff. And that's why I'm really happy to do this with Will and create this. Because this is perfect for me. And I know it will be perfect for you. And, again, like I said, try it out if you don't like it. Give you your money back. Hey, I want to thank everybody. We're going to be winding up now. Send you the recording within 24 hours, including the code snippets. So even if you don't purchase, you still got something out of this. Obviously, though, I hope you see that this is much better to invest a little bit in yourself with some money instead of a lot of with your time to do it manually. But hey, even if you still want to do it manually, you got value out of this call. You'll get a lot more value, I think, if you sign up. But either way, more power to you. Look forward to seeing you. And thank you, everybody.